greetings to all in this video lecture let's discuss a problem on hoffman code okay the question is a discrete memoryless source has five symbols x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 with probabilities 0.4 0.19 0.16, 0.15, and 10. Find the Huffman code for the source. Okay, so here in the question we could see five symbols are given and the probabilities are given. Okay, five symbols are x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5, and their probabilities such as 0.4, 0.19, 0.16, 0.15, and 0.10 is given. Okay, when we are asked to find the a code word using Huffman code. Okay, so before we uh, do this problem, I would like to show or highlight what are the steps involved in Huffman code. Okay, so the very let me read out the, the first step is in the very first step, the symbols or characters are sorted in descending order according to probability. So the first step in Huffman code is we need to sort the symbols in descending order based on the probability is step number one. So step number two is then select two symbols with least two probability in which the upper symbol is assigned as zeroth bit and under bit as one bit and combine into a new symbol and add the probability. So once we arrange the probability what we are going to do is we are going to add the least two probability okay. Uh, at least probably and we are going to assign the bit as uh, 0 for the upper uh, upper symbol and assign the bit 1 for the uh, you know uh, the bottommost uh, symbol okay then revise the symbol like the first step so as in the uh, first step like what we are arranged in descending order we are going to rearrange you know the new set in the descending order okay so step 4 is if the probability is same, the newest symbol is under the old symbol. For example, imagine uh, there is a probability for a symbol as 0 0.4. And when we add, we have got a new probability 0 0.4. The new symbol, the new probability should come above. And the probability that already exists for a symbol should come below. That's what they are saying. Now repeat step 2 and 3. Repeat until the sum of probability is equal to 1. Okay. So what is step 2 and 3? Step 2 and 3 is like you know we could add the probability and, and rearrange in descending order. This is step 2 and step 3. Okay. So repeat the steps uh, 2 and 3 until the sum of probability equal to 1 and last step is define the code word for each symbol with binary. So these are the steps involved. So let's uh, uh, practice our problem so that you know it will be very easy. Okay. So first let me write the list of symbols that so as you know there are five symbols x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 right and the probabilities are 0 0.4 0 0.19 0 0.16 0 0.15 and 0 0.10 okay so x1 the probability of x1 is 0 0.4 the probability of x2 is 0 0.19 the probability of x3 is 0 0.16 the probability of x4 is 0 0.15 and the probability of x5 is 0 0.10 right so these are the five symbols and their probabilities so what is the very first step okay okay so yeah so these are the five different uh, symbols and the probability 0 0.4 x1 with probability 0. Point uh, 4 x2 is probability 0 0.19 x3 is probability 0 0.16 and x4 is probability 0 0.15 and x5 is probably 0 0.0 0 0.10 so what is the first step arrange in descending order okay so here in the question itself we can see uh, the problem by itself is arranged in descending order right because you could see the first uh, uh, symbol okay the first uh, a symbol as 0 0.4 then 0 0.19 0 0.16 0 0.15 and 0 0.10 so by default the question itself the symbol okay uh, the probabilities are the same uh, arranged in listening order so it's it's an you know easy for us 
the second step is add the least two probability okay we are going to add add the least two probability so what is uh, least two probability is only 0 0.15 is the least two probability and then the other one is 0 0.10 so what what if if we add the least two probabilities uh, if we like 0 0.15 plus 0 0.10 is 0 0.25 okay so we are going to add the least two probabilities and okay assign and weight 0 to the upper bit and 1 to the lower bit okay so and we are going to rearrange the probabilities okay uh, by adding the uh, after adding the uh, probability of least two symbol now we have you know 0 0.25 again we are going to uh, arrange the probabilities in descending order okay so by adding we get 0 0.25 so where does 0 0.25 comes here so this is 0 0.4 then here yeah, 0 0.19 okay so our when you add you get 0 0.25 so when you arrange in descending order we will write 0 0.25 here right then we, then we have this 0 0.19 then we have this 0 0.16 so this 0 0.4 is here the 0 0.19 comes here so after adding 0 0.15 and 0 0.1 you get 0 0.25 which is actually here right which is actually here and this 0 0.160 so you can put this arrow mark because it will be easy when you write the code word okay so we will not miss anything wrong when you write the code word so nothing wrong in putting this uh, in arrow mark you can use your pencils for your exams okay so we saw then repeat the steps again okay repeat the steps so add the least to probability we are going to repeat the step until we get the sum of probability as one okay so now, now what we are going to do we are going to again as add the least to probability so what is zero the, the here the least to probability is 0 0.19 and 0 0.16 so if we add 0 0.19 and 0 0.16 we'll get like 0 0.29 0 0.35 okay so where does 0 0.35 comes okay 0 0.4 0 0.35 comes next if you, if you if you arrange in descending order 0 0.4 comes first then 0 0.35 comes then we have this 0 0.25 so what i'll do i'll just add i'll put this 0 0.4 is again here then we have this uh, 0 0.35 again this 0 0.25 comes here okay so i think i'm clear so uh, i think i'm clear so far so now like again uh, we, we need to repeat until we get sum of probabilities one right so again uh, we we uh, we haven't got the sum of probability as one we think we have one more step to do so again we have the we'll take the least two probability so like by adding this least two probabilities like 0 0.35 plus 0 0.25 we'll get something like 0 0.4 0 0.6 so now if you want to arrange in descending order next stage what we do so like here we have only 0 0.4 so this by adding will get 0 0.6 which comes in the top 0 0.6 then we have 0 0.4 so this 0 0.4 comes in the bottom it will be like 0 0.4 we will assign and wait now by adding this you will you will get us no one right so we are going to stop when the sum of probability becomes one so what we'll do, we'll assign the weights for each branch. Like here, as, as we said, the upper bit uh, is assigned 0 and lower bit assigned 1. Like here, you have 0 and here it is 1. Here it is 0, here it is 1, here it is 0, here it is 1. Okay, so follow these steps very correctly. Okay, so we have followed the step. What we have done is we have arranged in descending order. Then we have added a least two probability and the next stage, we have uh, rearranged uh, in, in descending order and we have repeated these uh, steps until we reach, we, we got the sum of probability to be 1. Okay. Now, the most important thing is how to write the code word. Okay. So, this is very, very important. So, more than finding this, you know, drawing this uh, structure, finding the code word is very, very important. Let's see. Okay. So, let's see what's, what will be the code word for okay let's see what's the code word for x1 okay 
so if you draw this arrow mark it will be very easy to track okay just track this x1 as probability 0 0.4 just track this track this track here it comes one what is the branch weight here one so the the problem the code for x1 is just one here again it's one so this is the last branch so the probability is so uh, the branch weight is one and the code for x1 is one so what will be the code for x2 just follow x2 is we just try to follow like you know you could see here just follow it here the branch is zero please be very sure when you are tracking in this fashion you should write from right to left okay you should write the branch weight from right to left not from left to right right to left okay so we'll track it just track it what we have here is zero okay we'll put a zero here then again just track this just track in this fashion take zero mark you have a zero here i put a zero here then track this again you have a zero here so i'm putting in zero in the left side okay please follow an right to left pattern okay uh, yeah then we have a zero so the code for x2 is zero 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 okay then we'll try to find the code for x3 okay again follow the same pattern right you know just follow the branch if the branch weight is one we'll write as one again this is followed by zero again zero this is zero so please follow the right left one so the code for x3 is zero zero one so what will be the code for x4 x4 is just track this 0 0.15 there here the branch weight is zero so it is zero then track it here you have is one just see it goes here come as one then again you have here it is zero so the code for x3 is zero 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 one zero okay then what's the last code x x5 what will be the code for x just let's track it 0 0.10 yeah this is branch which is one so it is like one again one again it is is going here zero so it is we just track here you have this one then you have this one again then you have this zero so this is how you find the code word for the Hoffman code. Okay, hope uh, you have understood. If you want, I'll just make a summary of it. So this is the question that given. So we are asked to find the code word using Hoffman code. The first step is arrange the symbols in descending order based upon the probability given. Based upon the probability given. Second step is add the least two probabilities and rearrange uh, uh, based upon the probabilities in the next stage keep doing until you get the sum of probability as one assign the branch weight zero and one okay uh, for the uh, upper bit and the lower bit then just track it and uh, find the branch code and write it in the reverse order to get the code word okay thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt please comment I'll be happy to answer.